It has been more than two months since the conflict in Sudan began. Already millions have been displaced and hundreds killed. Several attempts to enforce ceasefires between the two sides have fallen flat on their faces. The latest, the warring Sudanese generals have agreed to roll out a 72-hour long ceasefire mediated by Washington and Riyadh. In his statement, Saudi Foreign Ministry announced the agreement of representatives of the Sudanese Armed Forces and the Rapid Support Forces on a ceasefire throughout Sudan for a period of 72 hours. Now, according to reports, the two sides have agreed for a ceasefire period that would refrain from movements and attacks, including the use of warplanes or drones, artillery bombardment, reinforcements of positions, resupply of forces, or refrain from attempting to achieve military gains during the ceasefire period. The army and the RSF also agreed to allow freedom of movement and the delivery of humanitarian aid throughout Sudan. The ceasefire comes amid intensified airstrikes as warplanes struck several residential districts of Khartoum, killing 17 civilians, including five children. Multiple truces have been agreed upon and broken during the two-month-long civil war, the United States had even slapped sanctions on both generals after a previous attempt collapsed at the end of May. Now, according to reports, a 24-hour ceasefire from the 10th of June to the 11th of June provided Khartoum residents a brief respite from the airstrikes and artillery exchanges. But the fighting resumed within 10 minutes after the ceasefire ended. Now, according to the U.S. State Department, since the conflict began, the death toll across the country has stopped 2,000, with up to 1,100 killed in the West Darfur state capital, El Janina, alone. Now, according to the United Nations, more than 2 million people have been displaced. On the other hand, the medical institutions are baffled with challenges as they face acute shortage of resources, with the wounded and injured pouring in in waves. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.